okay, this is going to sound a little shuffled, but I want to get it all out there because I, I, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to miss something here. Okay. Um, I was actually getting revelation on some other things I'm about to do a video on, but it switched. It turned like, like God turned it. And I started getting a revelation on football. Okay. And I remembered that Troy Black did a video. Um, so I'm going to try and get this to him. Because in his, one of his things that he gave, he talked about football. Okay. Um, and for some reason, I just have him it's just on the spirit. Troy Black, football. Troy Black, football. Okay. This was the revelation. Okay. Bear with me. Bear with me, please. Okay. So, I got... I got Alabama Crimson Tide. Alabama Crimson Tide. They got a picture. Okay. I didn't go out searching for this. I wasn't ever thinking about the football and what he did. It, I just got this. Okay. They got a picture and it says it's an old sign with the A. Okay. And it says Roll Tide established 1831. Okay, so I'm going to read a couple of things really quick. Um, when you kind of look that up, I'm, I'm searching, and it says Alabama Crimson Tide Football. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to hit key points really quick. Um, I came down, and it says, um, It was not until 1907 that the name Crimson Tide which crimson, like blood tide, which crimson tide reminded me of um, Jesus' blood, crimson, red, like blood covering, an outpouring, an outpouring of his love and his grace, okay, is what he did on the cross. Tide, I know a lot of people are getting um, dreams for like rapture and things happening and they're seeing tides or big waves coming. Well, a wave is a tide, okay, just like a tsunami, a wave is a tide. Okay, kind of like a crimson tide, like a cleansing, okay, and a tide meaning an outpouring, um, like a lot of people coming to him, a lot of people coming to um, Jesus, a lot of hearts being turned, it's just going to be a tide of people coming, an outpouring of his blood, like just covering a lot of people, okay, um, it was not until 1907 that the name crimson tide was used to describe Alabama, Robert's point, Okay, it kind of stands out on coin because I was given something about coins and money and the weight of money, okay, um, last week. Okay, the nickname to describe the 1907 Alabama Auburn game, okay, played in a sea of mud. The sea, when I read that, I kind of got the impression of Egypt and Moses opening the Red Sea, Crimson Tide, okay, opening the Red Sea, and it opened, and they walked across, okay, to their freedom, to the promised land, okay, people coming to Jesus, they walking across this Crimson Tide, this Red Sea moment, to their promised land, okay, the Sea of Mud, like when the Egyptians carriages came after them, their chariots and everything, and he closed the Red Sea and he engulfed all the bad, the bad people coming after them. Okay. Alabama Crimson Tide football is a high resolution, transparent image. Okay. Okay. It's talking about the image there, but underneath it, it says for a large number of Alabama football fans. So a large number of Alabama football fans. Arrogance about the Crimson Tide is a, and it's in red letters, real big here, it says birthright. Arrogance about the Crimson Tide is a birthright. For those not having inherited such arrogance, okay, it kind of reminded me of um, the um, Israelites, like Jewish, okay, and then the Christians, okay, for those not having inherited such arrogance, it is easily 
adopted, and it's got a smiley face beside it. So I'll say that again. For a large number of Alabama football fans, arrogance about the Crimson Tide, about the Crimson Tide, so arrogance on the Messiah, and the, 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 the Messiah coming, okay, is a birthright. For those not having inherited such arrogance, because they didn't see it, they didn't have that arrogance, okay, the, the arrogance of, the, um, of them not seeing, so the Gentiles saw, like people you see, okay, for those not having inherited such arrogance, it is easily, easily, I mean, what he did on the cross was a complete saving grace. His blood, his blood, his blood, it's all about the blood. It always comes back to the blood. For those not having inherited such arrogance, it is easily adopted. We're adopted. We're grafted in. We're adopted. Okay, so Christians, I just see this pouring out and people turning in this way. Okay, so, okay, bear with me here. Okay, um, a while back I did a video and I got um, uh, uh, in, in the dream, okay, I was given, um, Jesus told me, Kodiak family. And so as I was waking up, I was going Kodiak there, Kodiak this, Kodiak that. Okay, so underneath that birthright and adopted, it says, which Alabama coach do you respect the most? Number B is Paul Bryant. The middle thing, it has it in there. Paul Bear Bryant, B-E-A-R. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. You go down. And, okay. You go down and yard breaker. It says, Alabama's a crimson tide breaking news rumors. The University of Alabama plays football this week. I'm not going to go into this, so I don't think that was supposed to be okay, but it was, it was maybe the beginning, like Sunday or something. Okay. We are six days away, six days away from the Crimson Tides season against Middle Tennessee State. Six days away from the Crimson Tides season. And then it mentions the first game is Middle Tennessee State. I remember this person told me that I haven't been able to get there yet, and it started tonight, and I was getting this revelation tonight, so it started August 2nd, and I think it goes into August 5th, okay, and I remember that there's a big revival going on in Tennessee, 5,000 people are there right now worshiping Jesus Christ, our Savior, okay, their first game was tonight, Alabama Crimson Tide schedule for 2023 ESPN, Saturday, September 2nd, versus Middle Tennessee, Tennessee, at 4.30 p.m. So I feel like there's going to be an outpouring, that there's going to be an outpouring of a revival coming forth from that. And this is just a kickoff and a start of that revival, that blood of people turning and changing and coming, the, the spirit just flowing out. Okay. Now, I think, okay, I think that was, that was it for that page. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take you back up. The picture said, Roll, Roll, R O L L, Tide. Roll Tide established 1831. Okay, so I put what happened biblically in 1831. Okay, and then it has Bible timelines. Okay, just Bible timelines. I went down, okay, from, from that, and I see Nat Turner's Revolt, 1831. So what's a Nat Turner's Revolt? And I just kind of looked underneath it really quick. On the evening of August 21st through 22nd, August 21st through 22nd in 1831, an enslaved preacher and self-styled prophet named Nat Turner launched the most deadly slave revolt in the history of the, and I'm not going into it, okay? 
So he was a preacher and a prophet named Nat Turner, launched the most deadly slave revolt in the history. Now, I don't know who Nat Turner is. Um, if I go down, sometimes it, it kind of mentions some other things. I don't want to say Mormon. I, I, I have no clue. I don't know. Not going there. I'm looking at there was a slave revolt, and it dealt with the preacher in 1831, August 21st through 22nd. Okay, and he was a prophet supposedly. I'm not. I'm. I don't know who Nat Turner is. So I'll go down and look at that. Okay, but it says Nat Turner Rebellion in Virginia. Um, slavery. Now, when I read that slavery, the year stuck out and preacher, okay, prophet preacher. I'm not saying I don't know who Nat Turner is. I'm not saying he was a prophet. I'm just reading that, okay. So if it goes against what I believe, I'm just getting a revelation here of the tide coming, okay. There was a revolt, okay, in, in slave, okay, or slavery. Slavery to me means those that are enslaved with their sin and their bondages, okay? That they're revolting, they're coming to Christ, and their bondages are going to be broken free in the name of Jesus, right? That they're going to come and see that they can be freedom. There's a freedom at the cross for them because Jesus paid it all, correct? Okay, um, this is what happened in August 1831. In the early morning hours of August 22, 1831, a group attacked the family of the man is like Turner. Okay. Um, they had a rebellion. Okay. 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 talks about 1831, the English version of the Polyglot Bible containing the Old and New Testaments published. Okay, I don't know who that is, Polyglot Bible. Um, the story of Nat Turner's Rebellion. Um, okay. Underneath all this, okay, is the Church of Jesus Christ, okay? The bishop should use his time to teach and help the saints. Okay. Um, there was a Jamaican slave rebellion. There again, 1831. It says Cove. Now, I see this as, again, just that wave, that crimson wave, that there's a rebellion and they turn against their sins and they get out of the slavery that the world has put them in, that the devil has put them in, they come to Christ and be set free. Okay. Um, there was something else here. Okay. Okay. Um, there again. Okay. There's a lot. It's almost like just things fighting against it. The Church of Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, it says chapter 10, development of the church in Ohio. It says the bishop's assignment as, okay, bishop, okay, um, just so you know, I'm, um, I was raised and saved and baptized Baptist <laughs> and, um, went to school Baptist and then, um, more, more, uh, I go non-denominational church, okay have for many many years right now um so just so you have a little on me there okay um but it says by august 1831 the bishop's assignment as common judge the bishop's assignment as common judge in israel was made more specific the bishop was to judge his people by the testimony of the just and by and it goes into you okay so that is a lot that happened on 1831. Now, 1831, okay, means Dima, 
D-E-M-A, Dema. Okay. Dema is a Hebrew word that means tears. It is written with three letters, Dalet, Men, and Ayan. Ayan means in Hebrew, Hebrew, and I, almost the same as it sounds in English. Hence, tears are the blood of the eyes. Note that emission of both from the body is called shedding. Okay, so they're shedding away blood from the eyes, blood's cleansing. There's a tongue they're coming to Christ. Okay. Okay. Um, what is Dimmer? Dim Dimma or Dimma? Maybe for two. Okay. Iranian word for the towers of silence. Demo of Arabic name meaning the cloud that brings rain to the crops after a drought. Okay, they want to dry dead people. And the rain, the waters, Holy Spirit waters washes away. <laughs> right? They're no longer in drought. Okay. Um, Strong's Hebrew. Okay. Um, meant weeping and tears. So 1831, Dema, Strong's Concordance, okay, is juice, okay? Juice, i.e., is wine or oil or and oil, okay? A tear, okay, it is your harvest and your vintage, the firstborn, the first of thy ripe fruits. And of thy liquors, the firstborn. So, okay, wines and things like that. Your harvest and your vintage shall be not delayed. It shall not delay. Okay, and the Bible scripture that goes with that, because it'll have like um, a Bible verse that you can go into, is Exodus. Exodus 22, 29. So let's see what that says. Okay. Okay, 29. Thou shalt not delay to offer the first of thy ripe fruits, and of thy liquors, the firstborn of thy sons shalt thou give unto me. I was not thinking about this. 
because I was not looking at this and I was not looking for it. Um, once again, I was actually about to do a video on um, Thanksgiving. So, I'll be putting that out. Um, I hope you get something from this. If you get any revelations from um, those that are watching this, um, let me know. Let me know if you, if you hear anything from the ones that are kind of opening things up to you. Um, or send it to Troy Block himself. <laughs> it's not mine. It's not my revelation. I mean, it's my revelation, but it's not mine. Um, he was given football in one of his last videos. It was a part of him. He just said he's not a football person. Um, so there you go. I hope this just helps. I'm going to be sending it to him. Hopefully somehow. Somehow. I don't, I don't know how, but I'm going to try. Um, I don't even have an email for him. Okay. Okay, I love y'all. God bless. God bless and keep and make his face to shine upon you. Amen, 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 amen.